Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to modify the proration method for multi-period accounting future available in Oracle Fusion tables. To start with, let me open this invoice which is already created by selecting the multi-period accounting attributes. If you see this invoice, the invoice amount 12,000 is entered in the line level and you can also see the distribution combination is entered and if you navigate to the multi-period accounting section, the start date is given as 1st January 2023 and the end date is given as 31st December 2023 and the accrual account is also entered on the invoice. So basically, this invoice is created for one year starting from 1st January 2023 to 31st December 2023. As per the standard multi-period accounting feature, this expense will be amortized based on number of periods between the start date and the end date. So in this case, since there are 12 periods between the start date and end date, the expense of 1000 will be amortized over the 12 periods. Let us verify the accounting. Let me detach. As you can see here, the invoice is created, validated and accounted. Then after the create multi-period accounting program is run and you can see the expense amortization entry is created for the month of January with the end date as 31st January 2023. A lot of times the clients ask instead of amortizing the expense based on the number of periods between the start date and end date, why can't it be the other way based on number of days in the month? So in this video, we are going to show you how to modify this proration method based on number of days instead of number of periods. Let's close this invoice and navigate to the settlement maintenance section. Here, click on the payables. Change this option to all dust. Scroll down to the manage journal line rules section. And search for multi period item expense recognition. This is the one multi-period item expense recognition. Click on duplicate. Give it a name. Enter the short name. Then click on save and close. Once the journal line rule is open, navigate to the accounting attributes assignments and in the entered amount, change the source. Here you can see the source is selected as prorate by number of periods for invoice. Change it from prorate by number of periods for invoices to prorate by number of days. Save the journal line rule. Then click on save and close. Click on done. Now navigate to the manage subledger general entry rule sets. Open it. And in the search button, search for invoice accrual basis.
duplicate the standard invoice accrual basis and give it a name enter the short name then click on save and close once the sublet of general entry rule set is open scroll down and look out for the multi period item expense recognition journal line rule So here you can see multi period item expense recognition. Select the line and then click on delete button. Now you can see the standard multi period item expense recognition line rule is deleted. Now we need to add the new journal line rule that we created. To do that, click on add button. here you can see a new line is created enter the line type select the journal line rule the one that we created and in the account combination rule select invoice distribution account scroll up save the journal entry rule set once the rule set is saved click on actions and change the status to activate click on yes now you can see the status is active then click on save and close now click on done now we need to navigate to the accounting method section click on manage accounting methods and select the accounting method which is assigned to your primary ledger so this canada standard accrual is the accounting method that is assigned to my primary ledger under the accounting methods navigate to the payable section here you can see the event class as invoice given end date to this invoices and then click on add row button select the event class as invoices and the event type as all and select the rule set that we created and then give it a start date then click on save and ensure that you activate this accounting method click on activate button and then click on yes so i got a confirmation that activate general entry rule set assignment process has been completed now click on okay save and close now we can navigate back to the payable section click on payables then click on invoices then click on the recent invoices section so this is the invoice that we created we validated then we accounted the invoice and in this invoice 
we have the multi period accounting setup from 1st january 2023 to 31st december 2023 and the expense amortization has already been created for the month of january based on number of periods proration method now we will try to run the multi period accounting program for the month of february and see how the prorate method has been updated to do that navigate to the tools section click on home screen go to tools then click on schedule process then click on schedule new process select the process create multi period accounting select the process click on okay and then enter the parameter select the accounting period here i have selected the accounting period february 2023 accounting mode final transfer to gl yes post in gl yes i'm changing it to no then click on submit so the process is submitted now click on okay refresh until the process is completed once the process gets completed we will be able to see the accounting entries generated by the system for the month of february 2023 so the import process is now completed navigate to the payables again then click on invoices and open the recent invoice click on validated button then click on accounted let me detach so here you can see for the month of february with the date as 28 february 2023 the expense amortization is not 1000 rather it is 939.73 so the system has considered the number of days in the period instead of number of months between the start date and end date so this is how you can customize the proration method for multi period accounting in oracle fusion payables Thank you.